Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today, letting you guys know that we got a new Dodge Demon in the house. Um, not in my house yet, but in the Kyosho lineup, they've done some refreshing to it. So what we have here, these things are going to be in stock, or at least the ETA from Kyosho said by the end of the month. So if you guys are interested in one of these, we are taking some pre-orders, some not doing a lot of them. Uh, but if it gets, anyway, so yeah, if you want to get one, pre-order it now. And uh, you know, it should be in here by the end of the month is what I was told. So uh, first off, I want to let you guys know, you know, here's the prices, 619. We do use Klarna. Uh, we do have the electric version here and we do have the nitro version as well. We do we do the Klarna, so you kind of buy now, pay later. It chops up your payments, so it's like 50-something bucks, depending on what you choose. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I got the Nitro version here. I haven't had the experience with it, Nitro, but I have had, obviously, my experience with the electric. Now, in here, it is on a 6S system that I had on mine, but that's the, that's the old, the last year, we'll call it last or two years ago, version of it. And uh, this is a new one. And I would say as far as the changes to it really are going to be some of the electronics as far as their paint job, <laughs> this is what it looks like, and also the electronic speed control. It was a Team Orion electronic speed control that's in there. Now it's using in like it looks like a rebranded Hobbywing system that's in there. Uh, it still is 4S capable. Some of you guys might chime in and say, hey, well, you can run that thing on, uh, you know, the electronics, the, sorry, the motor since it's a 2000 kV. Let's go ahead and just check it out here real quick on a 6S system is what I was getting at with that motor. What happened here? All right. So this one, yeah, as far as the chassis goes, it's it's a proven awesome chassis. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And if you even get this thing and it's on 4S, it's a lot of fun to just fling it around anyhow. Nice open parking lot. Get that thing sideways. If you've been watching my channel, then you've seen this car in action. Uh, so I don't think there's going to be any... I don't, you know, that'd be kind of interesting to, to do a comparison between the two, but honestly, I'm not going to buy this one because it's identical for the most part as the other one, as the one I have, other than that body and those rims. And as far as electronics, I've already kind of pushed the electronics off because I wanted a 6S system in there. But here, here's what you have. And I don't know what the speeds were stock. I want to say, you know, 45 something or a little, maybe a little bit faster on it, something like that stock with the gears and i know some of you guys have pushed them up to 60 something miles an hour on 4s so there you go if someone wants to chime in what they've kind of tweaked it to push the limits on their stock electronics and motor you guys can let me know or i know some of you guys have switched it where you've taken the electronic speed controller pulled it out put a 6s capable system in there and went ahead and ran the stock motor i don't know so to each their own. As far as that one, I'll probably do some kind of combo. That's what I already did anyway. So I already did that part. Uh, yeah, these tires here, these look awesome. When it comes to, yeah, the rim itself and the tire compound, uh, I imagine the tire compound itself is the same as previous, but they did do a little bit different on the tread pattern. And the rims look good. Uh, as far as when it comes to the tires, you know, you're going to burn through them. You get this thing going sideways. If, you, if you're... If you if you don't run it like like you stole it, you, the tires might last a little bit longer. But for me, I think I got really th there was no tread pattern left after a little bit of one run to the second run. They're pretty much bald because I do, I like it's got quite a bit of power in just the stock system to get that thing going side. Oh, man, it's a great vehicle. Let me tell you, it's a good vehicle. I love this vehicle. So. No questions. Kyosho makes nice stuff, especially this vehicle here, the Inferno GT2. I love it. I have mine. I'm not getting rid of it. Enough said. So, yeah, you guys, I'll put links in the description below if you guys are interested in one of these. I already had someone hit me up as far as the, that they want to go with the 6S system. So, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to do any kind of combo, but I think most of you guys... You, you can either handle it. I might start doing the combos because I know it seems a lot of people, they don't solder and uh, some of them don't want to work on their RC vehicles. And I mean, like, really, if you're getting into the hobby, this is just my experience. I, you know, start with building a kit because that's what I did when I first started. 
get more familiar with taking things apart, feel comfortable about tearing apart your vehicle. Now, unfortunately, with some of these vehicles like this one, they give you exploded view, but honestly, there's not a lot to this vehicle. Uh, you can tear it apart in little tiny pieces and you can work on it. So there's not a lot of stuff. Hey, video record it if you have to. So don't be intimidated by it, but I know some people just are in general working on their RC vehicles, but try to, you know, push the boundaries as far as for yourself working on the vehicles. But uh, it is what it is, and uh, I definitely enjoy the tinkering part of it anyhow. I like tearing the stuff apart anyway. But for now, that is it. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Check us out at omgrc.com. And uh, if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see here a newsletter. You might want to go ahead and sign up for that newsletter. So when we do promotions, I needed to go ahead and send an email out in regards to the pre-order. So that's something I'll probably work on come this weekend. And I get that out for all my subscribers so they're in the know as well. But for right now, if you got a lot of my subscribers that get the newsletter, do watch the YouTube channel as well. But for now, catch you on the next video. You guys take care. Thank you again for watching.